Hello and welcome to Meanwhile in the Falklands from FITV, our podcast, our second podcast actually because we do two. Don't know whether you know that listener, but we do too. I'm here with Catherine. Hello. It's just us. <gasps> We're all alone, just me and you. Can I just say, well, I've taken my shoes off because it's that kind of day and I was, <laughs> I was wearing my sitting down shoes and not my standing up and walking around shoes. And it's looking a little bit of a mess in here because you're just about to move into my office. I'm moving offices, listeners. I'm moving across the corridor. It's very exciting. I felt like one of the little aliens in Toy Story when they get grabbed by the claw machine and they say, farewell, I'm off to a better place. <laughs> um, we should see if you go on my Twitter. I tweeted that. You did, um, yeah. What's your Twitter? Just tell everyone. Uh, Let's Ka- just plug it all. Catherine underscore nine seven. We'll get that in there nice and early. Okay, yeah. Um, so Don't forget to follow me, listener. Rita underscore seagull. Yeah. And actually, I have had a few more um, followers. Oh, that's exciting. And I presume it's because they listen to this. Oh, obviously, yes, yeah. because they listen to this. But anyway, so my desk drawers are currently across yes. the floor. My computer's on a desk that's moving back across into the other office. I'm waiting for my desk to come across here. It's all very exciting. It's all very exciting. It sounds very boring, listener, for you just sitting there going, oh, yeah, she's moving, she's moving across. I always find this room is very warm because the sun... Um, is because this is a north facing room and this is what will blow your mind listener if you're in the northern hemisphere because everyone in the northern hemisphere wants a southern facing garden don't they Mm. because you get the sun all year round here in the Falklands of course we're in the southern hemisphere you want a north facing garden because that's where your sun is coming so our sun uh, rises and moves across the sky across these two gorgeous windows that Mm. overlook the petrol station um, but we it does get quite warm in here. Yeah, but I'm looking forward to seeing the pretty view out these windows rather than the car park I see. So, so the, petrol the, station, the petrol station I think is going to be way park. more interesting. Yeah. Um, but, but talking about the difference of hemispheres, mm-hmm. now we're getting into winter and it's getting colder yeah. and the nights are drawing in, it's dark waking up. I'm sat here, I'm like, oh, I can't wait for Christmas. So excited about oh, my Christmas no. decorations. Oh, and so then it's, I, it's really upset your whole kind it, of... It has. What yeah, is it? Circadian, circadian rhythms, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sat here thinking, oh, I'm so excited to put the tinsel up. I'm like, no, Catherine, it's May. It's meant to be summer. Yeah. Oh, well, winter, but not. And it's very confusing. There not is a... Uh, yeah, there is a... Um, a well, I'm going to say tradition in the loosest term, and anyone who's a Falklander who's listened to this is going to go, it's not. Um, I think it was a military thing. They started doing the 25th of June and calling it Fixmas. Oh. So you might see that there's some things coming up uh, for the military base, and they call that that. Sorry, listener, that was uh, Tom who's just uh, popped his head around the door, because in the other office, Hannah has found a big box of what can only be described as... Well, I won't describe it because it's obviously using a mustard word, mm. but it's a load of rubbish in there. Um, Hannah's mm. in her happy place now because she's organising. Yeah, there's more leads that you can shake a stick at. And as she quite rightly said, if we haven't used them in the last three and a half years since she's been here, then... I'll be ever. I'll be ever. So um, she's doing that. So Tom's just come in, shown us something, said, do you know what this is? And no. So he's <laughs> gone out again. Um, he's gone out again. Anyway, so we had um, quite an interesting weekend because it was the... RBL 100th. Yes, and so they had the tea dance at the town hall. Wasn't that lovely? It was really ni- a really nice event, I thought. And it was nice doing something in the afternoon as well, and not the evening. So you had some sort of older people there in the wheelchairs, sort of dancing. People brought their yeah. parents along, and the little kids. It was just a really nice event. Yeah, somebody said it was like having a wedding. Yes, it was like a, yeah. a wedding reception, wasn't it? Sort of some teas, some cakes, uh, do the a lot of dancing. cake was gorgeous. They were good, weren't they? The cake yeah. was very gorgeous, yeah. So that was lovely. That was organised by, well, mostly Chris and Nancy from Royal British Legion, mm. but also had a band of helpers doing they that. Did. Um, so that was very nice. That was um, after, in, in the morning, of course, Saturday, they they laid the wreath at the um, Cross of Sacrifice here, which is it's our war memorial. Um, and that was uh, Chris, the chair of um, the RBL, who, who laid that wreath. Um, anyway, we've had a lovely week. You've had your second jab. I You're fully jabbed second, now. I'm fully jabbed. I'm very excited. I didn't feel as bad this time. My arm hurt a bit, but after the first vaccine, I was completely wiped out for a couple of days. Yeah. But this time I felt okay. So, that's so good. 94%... Of the Falkland yeah, Islands, like that, isn't it? yeah, something like ninety-four percent of Falkland Islands are now um, fully vaccinated with the AstraZeneca. We all had AstraZeneca. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you need to just be aware of there. There might yeah, be the risks. A risk, but but, but I've got my little laminated card, so we're all okay. <laughs> we were so excited about that because we were going to go down to the print shop to have them all laminated. Um, 
and then somebody pointed out there was a laminator in the Stanley Services office, so we trooped up there instead. Yes. Um, yeah, so that was that. Was that. Um, we have had quite a bit of court on this week as well, so that's in the show this week. Um, Johnny's been doing a fantastic job with the senior inline hockey, yes. which very convenient is on a Tuesday afternoon, a uh, Tuesday evening rather, um, which means he's got time to edit it and put it together before it comes in the show. So that's all looking yeah, good. Yeah, and I was watching it while I was editing the show. It's really exciting. I've never really want, gone and watched a hockey game before, but it's so fast paced, so mm. quick. Um, and yeah, so the highlights he's put together are really good. Yeah. Um, Dementia Walk, that was the other thing that was happening on Saturday, yes. which slipped my mind. Yeah. Um, but Johnny went to do that. I think they had a walk up tumble down in the morning at nine o'clock and then they did a walk from the jetty center to the museum in the afternoon mm. um but johnny went along to the tumble down one so if you're a veteran you're watching this um obviously the tumble down is um easily accessible from mm. town um and it's they nice went and had a walk, walk as there. well yeah yeah um the big thing the big thing this weekend is of course the may ball it's very exciting it's my first may ball it's going to be amazing um Possibly some people would think it's a little bit old-fashioned in its format because it is a not it's not a beauty pageant, but there you do vote for the May Queen and the May Princess, and the Prince Charming and the runner-up, um, and it's all based on them dancing and their personality and all that kind of stuff. Um, but from a point of view that it's like where are we now? Twenty twenty-one, mm. and these fifteen-year-olds turn up in these full-length ball gowns. Yeah. It's got an air of like nostalgia about yeah. it, and it's really. I just think it's quite fun because obviously they've been going to dance lessons for the past sort of ten weeks to learn all the proper traditional dances, and then it's just an opportunity for them to show off what they've learned. I just think yeah. it's really nice. So I went along to uh, dancing on Wednesday. You've been going quite regularly. I've been you? going. Yeah, I've been going for the past ten. Well, near enough ten weeks. So yeah, I've skipped a couple while I was yeah. away, but but. No, no, it's been really exciting going to the really fun going to the so dance we, 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 I went along there last night mm-hmm. with um, my husband and um, what I like about the, the dance practices are um, the, the the youngsters turn up and for about eight weeks they'll be just wearing trainers and jeans and then the last couple of weeks they finally bring their shoes with them and there were some amazing shoes last night really hefty high ones i don't know how they're gonna walk in some i them, but don't know although i say this i've not practiced in my heels so i went i wore them to the poppy ball and managed to dance so hopefully i will also be able You'll to dance right. yeah it should be fine but. i think the, the trick is not to go too high yes you've got a full length gown anyway no got one's gonna see it mm. so just go for a shorter comfortable uh, one. top tip listener listen to that top tip um but it is it's a it's a traditional one the May Ball is held on the nearest uh, Friday and Saturday to Empire Day, which is uh, the 25th of May. Queen Victoria's birthday, I think. I'm going to stay silent on yeah, this. Yeah, I think, I it's, I think it's Queen Victoria's birthday. It's Empire Day, basically. Um, so it's steeped in history. Mm. Um, but the May Ball on the Friday night is where they crown the, the May Princess and May Queen. And then on the Saturday, they have a more family orientated yeah. one, um, which we're going to as well. Yeah. I've been persuaded to dress as Lady Bracknell. Yes, I have heard this. Yeah, it's going to be very fun, I think. It is going to be very fun. What I like about the second night at the May Ball, they say, oh, bring bring your own drinks, bring mm. what you like to drink. Well, I'll be bringing tea. <laughs> so that'll be bring nice. Bring your tea for Yeah, your that'll tea be strainer. nice for us. No, it should be a good <clears> weekend. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I'd completely forgot. I've just gone into the other office and told them what we're going to do tomorrow. But I'd forgotten we're going to actually catch up with Richard Cockwell. Ooh, very yeah. exciting. Because we have never done a piece on Richard Cockwell painting. And his painting is gorgeous. And his painting is gorgeous. Mm. So I did say to him, get the kettle on, Richard. We're coming around at 10 o'clock. We've got no choice um, in the matter. We yeah. will be there. And we're going to film you um, we'll doing your painting. That should be So really that nice. is going to be really nice. It's his not, birthday on Saturday, actually. Oh, not, I know it's a relaxing Friday as well. Just yeah, get to watch I like painting. those. Yeah. yeah, that's very much what life is like here, FITV Towers uh, mm. listener. Is we have a mad four days, and then Friday is just really relaxed and chilled out. Yeah. So that's what we tend to do. Um, yes. So, so that is it. Um, surprisingly, there is nothing on other than the May Ball. That's unusual, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a quiet weekend for us. So. Um, makes a change <laughs> yeah i might just twiddle my thumbs and just relax a bit yeah um so we're here we are we're on um thursday the 20th we normally record our podcast on a friday but we thought we'd do it on thursday um 
you've edited the show how's yeah. it looking it's all just oh just as i look over it it's very nearly finished exporting everything Fabulous. So, so how many minutes are we this week uh i think it's about 40 minutes just 40 under. yeah really yeah wow look nice you're getting value for money now. there aren't you listener yeah that's not even a pound a minute that's far far less. i yeah. can't even do the maths it's that that cheap now, if you're sitting there and you're listening to this and you think, I wish I could watch FITV, well, you can. Because if you've downloaded this, you've downloaded it from the internet, therefore you've got an internet connection, therefore you can subscribe to FITV. So it, you go to our website, fitv.co.fk, you click on the link to our channel, it will <coughs> come up with this week's programme, and when you click on that to play it, it will come up with do you want to do a monthly subscription which is six pound a month or do you want to do an annual subscription which is 60 pound a month and then underneath a year, a year so sorry not six pounds a month we haven't <coughs> charge you that much listener yeah and then underneath is a little box where you can put your password in um so if you click on either six pound a month or 60 pound a year can i just say cheaper than the penguin news yeah i did mm. it i said it yeah said cheaper it than the penguin up. news um it takes you to another website called Two Checkout, and they deal with the money. So don't be afraid, listener. It's fine. And then if you do do that and you don't get your password sent to you, just drop me an email at stationmanager@fitv.co.fk. I can go on the website and I can find what your password is and send it to you that way. So don't be afraid. It's all fantastic and all easier. secure. It can be easier. Mm. No, it's brilliant. Um, so go and do that and you'll see all these beautiful things. You can, if you don't want to spend any money, you could listen to our News Roundup, which is also on Spotify, iTunes yeah. and SoundCloud, um, which is a run round, roundup. roundup. We're not going to call it a review no. because it's... Falklands Radio get a bit bit sniffy if we call it <laughs> call it a news review it's, it's a it's news a roundup. roundup it's a roundup. summary of yeah. some of the news this week yeah um so that's available as well and that's got some obviously got the audio mm. from these things and we've got quite a lot on our youtube channel as well yeah we we're have very now. busy bees uploading yeah. stuff onto youtube and facebook so yeah. if you head on over to our youtube um you can watch loads of stuff yeah fitv the um our website is changing, isn't it, soon? It's very exciting, So yes. um, that's going to be fantastic. Do you know what? I think I'm going to take you next door, listener, and we're going to go on a roving report next door to see what they're doing. Oh, this is fun. Yeah. Oh, oh. I just crashed into some of my desk drawers. So unfortunately, um, Hannah has, has um, disappeared. You didn't do anything to her, did you, Johnny? Well, you say that in a way that I'm a massive disappointment. Well, to, because, being, uh, listener... Um, I am very, very upset, very upset, and I'm almost on the verge of calling the police about this, but I had a fountain pen, not just an ordinary pen, mm. a fountain pen, <clears throat> and I found it in my pen box without its lid, having dried up, it's one of those disposable ones, which, you know, it's not a proper fountain Gee. pen, but... <gasps> But Johnny. somebody had used it, and now I think it's you, Johnny, um, and it's dried up. Yeah, see, Johnny, you thought you were coming in here to join the podcast. Really, you've been brought in for an interrogation. We've got a light we can put to yeah, shine into I'll his eyes. Shine my torch on him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've already done the interrogation. Now, every time you come into the office in, in our little room, I, I seem to get the accusations every time. It's a different thing well, each time. Johnny, I mean, on your, what was it, second day here, you did take one of You did take pens. one of my pens. So, so, you know, you've got yeah. form, you've got form. Well, I did Previous. say, uh, after Paul was on the wall path with a pen, I came into the office because I needed to borrow some scissors, and I walked in, and Paul I had a scary face on, and I, I ran away. <laughs> I ran very quickly back out of the office. I didn't My want scary to face. The yeah, of that's what it is. That's what it is. Um, so, you've been out of quarantine now for how many weeks? I think it's my third week. Yeah, third. A few. It feels like a lot longer than that. But yeah, three <laughs> it's weeks. Like a lot, Honestly, it's Honestly, it's felt like a lifetime. Do you feel like you've you've been welcomed into the um, arms of FITV? Yeah, I'd say that. I'd say that. <laughs> yeah, he, he's saying this. He's being forced to say this. What the listener can't see is I'm saying it's me you. going. Yes, yes, you have. No, no. <laughs> In all seriousness, how, no, you, how are you finding it? So we are. I think what I worry about is people who come at the time of year that you did <coughs> is that it's coming into winter so yeah. you've gone from being the winter in the UK to coming in the winter here how are you going to cope with that do you feel yeah well I mean 
any win the winter UK was obviously a lockdown winter as well. So oh, yeah. any, anything is better than a lockdown winter in the UK. So yeah, I think it, it's it's annoying that the the mornings when we wake up it's dark and it gets dark basically towards the end of the day when we're, we're about to finish work, which is a, is a bit annoying. But the plus side is it's normal life here, isn't it? So. Mm. That's what I'm really enjoying. Have you found that really quite weird that people are so close? Because you did you go to you didn't go to the tea dance, did you? On no, I didn't. Sunday. Think of the invite. Oh. <laughs> you guys all having your jolly. I was there. You and set you were doing for the that walk, invite right to the you end. You were doing the walk up tumble down. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I we was. We Donny to go walk up a mountain while we went and partied at the town hall. <laughs> that's what happened. That's what basically. That's what basically. I, 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 that actually suits me though. I, I enjoyed that on Saturday morning. I, yeah. When you say mountain though. Is it no, classed as a mountain? It's not a mountain. Mount Tumbledown. Yeah, yeah. It was good fun actually. We got we got good weather. But yeah, you guys were off off partying, weren't you, at the tea dance? Yeah. Um, which did look good. But now is it normal life for you then? It, I mean yeah. now now it feels I don't even think about it. It just feels normal. But initially what it was quite strange. Um and I think if I go back to the UK I mean when I see pictures and, and videos from back home, I, it reminds me, but it doesn't it doesn't feel weird anymore at all. I'm just hoping that one, the, the time I do get back to the UK, it's not having to basically get used to all that mask stuff again and mm. and the social distancing. But yeah, now it just, I just it, I don't give it a second thought. It's just normal life, which is so nice. Yeah. But yeah. The, but the winter is a bit grim and it's going to get worse. Apparently, it? it's going to snow next week. Yay! See, the thing is, I think with, I'm the only one cheering there. <laughs> yeah. You have a party on your own there, Catherine. Yeah. Oh, forgot to tell your parents. She's safe and well. Oh, I am. I am safe and well, Mum and Dad. I didn't get eaten by any animals when I went dancing, so we're all good this time. Um, yeah, see, with winter, I'm like, if it's going to be so cold, it might as well snow. Otherwise, what's the point of being cold? <laughs> what's we the might, point, of, what's being the point of being cold if it's not going to snow? If I'm not going to get a day off work because the snow so yeah. bad, I can't We get don't it. do snow days. Oh. Um, although FITV has, in the past, oh. thought we'd do a whole piece on... The snow? Yeah, tobogganing, and we've taken a, a sledge down. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 um, down. down um, oh, where the school is on the oh, goes yes. on to school pitch. That's you. That's your starter slope. That's your, yeah. That is your green starter slope. slope. Yeah. yeah, yeah, green slope. Is that what they do in, in the, the skiing? skiing yeah, yeah. In the skiing world, that's your that's your green slope. The black slope will be Philomel because they actually close Philomel Hill off yeah. in the ice because it's too dangerous. Mm. But what you are doing then, as you're coming down, is you're risking going straight into the harbour. Yes. Which wouldn't be great. It does sound like terrifying, the snow. but um, I think if we find some, if Johnny has stolen pens again, then Johnny can go and do the tobogg- tobogganing piece. Yeah. Well, this is. If it ends yeah. up in the harbour, it's no fault of ours. As long as the camera's all right, yeah. But <laughs> I. <laughs> no, I no, he's, 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 he's got, yeah, got the memo. Yeah, so he's got fine. the memo. But I, I was meant to do the the midwinter swim, wasn't I? But it's been been cancelled. Yeah, the we might swim. do our own. Can you do your own? Mm, well, it, it's very, very cold, and perhaps we would we shouldn't be encouraging people to walk into the South Atlantic in the middle of winter because that's not really very safe. So we won't be doing it. Especially, um, I need to let you know that Catherine's parents that we won't be doing that. Um, people have done it, but I would, it's a, no, it's it really a bit too cold. I think we won't a bit be too cold. Too Although having said that, in, in years gone by, when we've covered the um, midwinter swim, sometimes the outside temperature is a little bit warmer than it should be, and the sea temperature is very cold. So there is a massive difference as you go in. But then there are some years when it's actually really cold, when there's been snow on the snow on sand, which is the weirdest oh, experience weird. ever. Um, but there's snow on the sand, um, and of course there's not much difference from going from air into sea. Not as much um, of a shock. Yeah, yeah. Well, so but you have fire. I've seen seen videos. There's fires set up on there and and the like oil drums and yeah, and yeah it's got your hot cool. drinks and stuff. Yeah, I've never done it either, Does and it I good? don't want to do it. So oh, it's a shame. Can't do it before you leave. No, I won't be doing it. <laughs> I, be doing it. <laughs> I think Hazel did it one year, Aww. or Connie might have done it one year. I can't remember. One mm. of them did. Um, but yeah, it's it's good fun. It's good fun to to film as well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, we'll leave you there, listener. Um, thank you very much for listening. Hello to Andy. I just going to say that he's one one of my listeners. He follow me on Twitter. Aww. You get a hello. Yeah. Um, and I know he listens along. Um, Stephen, I don't know if you're still listening, but um, obviously Johnny's your man for uh, for sporting mm-hmm. events because you're covering. The, we we said earlier that you were covering the the hockey. The hockey, yeah. The um, weekly hockey. Is that going, going well? Right? Yeah, yeah, it's going well. 
Some really good games this week, actually. Yeah, it looks, looks like it. Um, <laughs> so, um, so we'll leave you there, listener. Um, if you'd like to listen, uh, watch along with the programme this week, it's week number 534, and we've already told you how to uh, watch that on, on the internet. Mm-hmm. Or if you're in Stanley or you can get a KTV signal here in, um, FI, in the Falkland Islands, then you need to get hold of KTV on 22349, and they'll, they'll um, get you a subscription up on that one. Um, okay, until next week. Bye. Bye. See ya.